Chapter 8 These are now the chief of their fathers, and this is the genealogy of them that went up with me from Babylon, in the reign of Artaxerxes the king, of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hattish, of the sons of Shechaniah, of the sons of Pharosh, Zechariah, and with him were reckoned by genealogy of the males an hundred and fifty. Of the sons of Pehath Moab, Eliho Enai, the son of Zerahiah, and with him two hundred males. Of the sons of Shechaniah, the son of Jehaziel, and with him three hundred males. Of the sons also of Aden, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, and with him fifty males. And of the sons of Elam, Jeshiah, the son of Athaliah, and with him seventy males. And of the sons of Shephatiah, Zebediah, the son of Michael, and with him fourscore males. Of the sons of Joab, Obadiah, the son of Jehiel, and with him two hundred and eighteen males. And of the sons of Shalometh, the son of Josephiah, and with him an hundred and threescore males. And of the sons of Bebei, Zechariah, the son of Bebai, and with him twenty and eight males. And of the sons of Asgad, Johanan, the son of Hakatan, and with him an hundred and ten males. And of the last sons of Adonikam, whose names are these, Elipolet, Jeiel, and Shemaiah, and with them threescore males. Of the sons also of Bigvei, Uthai, and Zabad, and with them seventy males. And I gathered them together to the river that runneth to Ahava, and there abode we in tents three days, and I viewed the people and the priests, and found there none of the sons of Levi. Then sent I for Eleazar, for Ariel, for Shemaiah, and for Elnathan, and for Jerob, and for Elnathan, and for Nathan, and for Zechariah, and for Meshulam, chief men, also for Joyarib, and for Elnathan, men of understanding. And I sent them with commandment unto Iddo, the chief of the place, Cassaphia, and I told them what they should say unto Iddo, and to his brethren the Nethanims, at the place Cassaphia, that they should bring unto us ministers for the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man of understanding of the sons of Malai, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sherebiah with his sons and his brethren eighteen, and Hashabiah, and with him Jeshiah, of the sons of Merari, his brethren and their sons twenty, also of the Nethanims, whom David and the princes had appointed for the service of the Levites, two hundred and twenty Nethanims, all of them were expressed by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might afflict ourselves before our God, to seek of him a right way for us, and for our little ones, and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way, because we had spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. So we fasted, and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of us. Then I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Sherebiah, Hashabiah, and ten of their brethren with them, and weighed unto them the silver, and the gold, and the vessels, even the offering of the house of our God, which the king, and his counselors, and his lords, and all Israel there present had offered. I even weighed unto their hand six hundred and fifty talents of silver, and silver vessels an hundred talents, and of gold an hundred talents, also twenty basins of gold, of a thousand drams, and two vessels of fine copper, precious as gold. And I said unto them, Ye are holy unto the Lord. 
The vessels are holy also, and the silver and the gold are a freewill offering unto the Lord God of your fathers. Watch ye and keep them, until ye weigh them before the chief of the priests and the Levites, and chief of the fathers of Israel at Jerusalem, in the chambers of the house of the Lord. So took the priests and the Levites the weight of the silver and of the gold and of the vessels to bring them to Jerusalem unto the house of our God. Then we departed from the river of Ahava on the twelfth day of the first month to go unto Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us, and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and of such as lay in wait by the way. And we came to Jerusalem and abode there three days. Now on the fourth day was the silver and the gold and the vessels weighed in the house of our God, by the hand of Miramoth, the son of Uriah the priest, and with him was Eleazar the son of Phinehas, and with him was Josabad the son of Jeshua, and Noadiah the son of Binuai Levites, by number and by weight of every one, and all the weight was written at that time. Also the children of those that had been carried away, which were come out of the captivity, offered burnt offerings unto the God of Israel, twelve bullocks for all Israel, ninety and six rams, seventy and seven lambs, twelve he-goats for a sin offering, all this was a burnt offering unto the Lord. And they delivered the king's commissions unto the king's lieutenants, and to the governors on this side of the river, and they furthered the people and the house of God. Chapter 9 Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel, and the priests, and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the hand of the princes and rulers hath been chief in this trespass. And when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle, and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard, and sat down astonished. Then were assembled unto me every one that trembled at the words of the God of Israel, because of the transgression of those that had been carried away, and I sat astonished until the evening sacrifice. And at the evening sacrifice I arose up from my heaviness, and having rent my garment and my mantle, I fell upon my knees, and spread out my hands unto the Lord my God and said, O my God, I am ashamed and blush to lift up my face to thee, my God, for our iniquities are increased over our head, and our trespass is grown up unto the heavens. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day, and for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face as it is this day. And now for a little space grace hath been showed from the Lord our God, to leave us a remnant to escape, and to give us a nail in his holy place, that our God may lighten our eyes, and give us a little reviving in our bondage. For we were bondmen, yet our God hath not forsaken us in our bondage, but hath extended mercy unto us in the sight of the kings of Persia, to give us a reviving, to set up the house of our God, and to repair the desolations thereof, and to give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. And now, O our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments which thou hast commanded by thy servants the prophets, saying, The land unto which ye shall go to possess it is an unclean land, with the filthiness of the people of the lands, with their abominations which have filled it from one end to another with their uncleanness. 
Now therefore give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth for ever that ye may be strong, and eat the good of the land, and leave it for an inheritance to your children for ever. And after all that is come upon us for our evil deeds, and for our great trespass, seeing that thou our God hast punished us less than our iniquities deserve, and hast given us such deliverance as this, should we again break thy commandments, and join in affinity with the people of these abominations? Wouldst not thou be angry with us till thou hadst consumed us, so that there should be no remnant nor escaping? O Lord God of Israel, thou art righteous, for we remain yet escaped as it is this day. Behold, we are before thee in our trespasses, for we cannot stand before thee because of this. Chapter 10 now when Ezra had prayed, and when he confessed weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechaniah the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land, yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore let us make a covenant with our God, to put away all the wives and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter belongeth unto thee, we also will be with thee, be of good courage, and do it. Then arose Ezra, and made the chief priests, the Levites, and all Israel, to swear that they should do according to this word, and they swear. Then Ezra rose up from before the house of God, and went into the chamber of Johanan, the son of Eliashib. And when he came thither, he did eat no bread, nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem unto all the children of the captivity, that they should gather themselves together unto Jerusalem, and that whosoever would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and the elders, all his substance should be forfeited, and himself separated from the congregation of those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together unto Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month, on the twentieth day of the month, and all the people sat in the street of the house of God, trembling because of this matter, and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood up, and said unto them, Ye have transgressed, and have taken strange wives, to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land, and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered, and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without, neither is this a work of one day or two, for we are many that have transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregations stand, and let all them which have taken strange wives in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from us. Only Jonathan the son of Azahel, and Jehaziah the son of Tikvah, were employed about this matter, and Meshulam, and Shabbathai the Levite helped them. And the children of the captivity did so. And Ezra the priest with certain chief of their fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all of them by their names, were separated, and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priest that were found that had taken strange wives, namely, of the sons of Jeshua, the son of Josedach, and his brethren, 
Maasiah, and Eleazar, and Jarab, and Gedaliah, and they gave their hands, that they would put away their wives, and being guilty they offered a ram of the flock for their trespass, and of the sons of Immer, Hanani, and Zebediah, and of the sons of Haram, Maasiah, and Elijah, and Shemaiah, and Jehiel, and Uzziah, and of the sons of Pasher, Elioenai, Maasiah, Ishmael, Nethaniel, Josabad, and Elsasa, also of the Levites, Josabad, and Shemei, and Kaliah, the name is Kalita, Pethahiah, Judah, and Eliezer, of the singers also, Eliashib, and of the porters, Shalom, and Telam, and Uri, moreover of Israel, of the sons of Parosh, Ramiah, and Josiah, and Melchiah, and Maamen, and Eleazar, and Malchijah, and Benaiah, and of the sons of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Eliah, and the sons of Zatu, Elioenai, Eliashib, Mataniah, and Jeremoth, and Zabab, and Aziza, of the sons of Bibai, Jehohanan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Aphlai, and of the sons of Bani, Meshulam, Malak, and Adiah, Jashub, and Sheel, and Ramoth, and of the sons of Pehath Moab, Adna, and Kilal, Benaiah, Maasiah, Mataniah, Bezalel, and Benui, and Manasseh, and of the sons of Haram, Eleazar, Ishaijah, Malchiah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Malak, and Shemariah, of the sons of Hashem, Matinai, Mattatha, Zabad, Eliphalet, Jeremiah, Manasseh, and Shimei, of the sons of Benai, Maadai, Aram, and Uel, Benaiah, Bediah, Kela, Vaniah, Meramoth, Eli Ashib, Mataniah, Matinai, and Jeosal, and Benai, and Benoai, Shimei, and Shelemiah, and Nathan, and Adiah, Machnadabai, Sheshai, Sharai, Azareel, and Shelemiah, Shemariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph, of the sons of Nebo, Jeiel, Mattathiah, Zabad, Zabina, Jadal, and Joel, Benaiah. All these had taken strange wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children.